Hello, hello. I hope you are here for the Hollow Taco Unicorn Skin Collection Review, because that's what we're doing. And I want to start by talking about the packaging. It's very cute, very adorable. It's hollow everything. What it doesn't have is a pull tab, and I hate these kind of boxes for nail polish. I had to take a cuticle stick in there to pop the lid open so I didn't break a nail. And speaking of breaking a nail, hmm, <laughs> let's talk about the packaging that it came in that broke a nail. Um, it's cute. Like the packaging itself is really cute, iridescent. It's adorable. It's got a little magnetic clasp on the front. And then when you open it up, you have the polishes that are packed very tightly in there and you can accidentally pop your hand off and almost break a nail. But what I want to talk about with packaging very quickly is I wonder how many people really care about this stuff. I would much rather just get my polish and save a couple dollars. Now if this packaging only costs like 10 or 20 cents, sure, whatever. But how much of that is going into the price of this polish? And we're going to turn the tables on Christine a little bit here, the creator of Hollow Taco, because she's always done comparisons for the best blacks and the best whites. So I wanted to see if different polishes of different price points could compete with her line. So her black polish is called the Hollow Taco One Coat Black. It is a very nice polish to apply. It goes on very smooth, very evenly, dried fairly quickly, and it did cover in one coat. This is Sinful Colors Blacklist. Now, this one has a matte finish to it, but once you put a top coat on it, it's just almost as shiny as the other ones. The Hollow Taco is a very shiny formula, which is nice. And then Maniology Straight Up Black, which is a stamping polish. Um, that I'm just checking out to see if it will actually coat completely in one coat and it also does So here is what the three of them look like together and the price points the hollow tacos on my index fingers Simple colors is in the middle maniology is on the right So you've got three completely different price points and polishes that really the only major difference in my opinion was how shiny it was um, now that doesn't mean hers is bad, it's a great polish, it's fine, but there are cheaper alternatives out there. However, this one, I'm not amused. It, this is horrible. And I'm sorry, I hate to have to say that for somebody's collection. Um, first off, I hate the brush. Can't, I hate the brush in this whole collection. Um, it's very rounded and I have a hard time getting it up into my cuticle line. Now this polish itself is just thick. And when the original advertisement comes out on YouTube and you're like, hey, just put some polish thinner in there, I should tell you it's a little too thick. I have polish thinner. It's not an issue for me, but I don't want to pay $11 for a polish that I have to immediately open and put polish thinner in. Um, so th on the middle nail here, I'm using Sinful Color Snowy White and then Angelic White, which was the original Maniology formula. This one's not even the best one. They have Bam White now, and it's much better. And you'll see on the finished shot of all the nails, there's really not much of a difference in them. I did put two coats of polish on all of these, um, but it, uh, no, no on the not milky white, no, no, sorry, no. Again, just so you can see the brush and how rounded it is at the end and how thin and tiny this brush is. It's almost like China Glaze before they got their new brushes and I hated those too. So, it's her choice, it's her business. She can put the brushes in she wants. I just don't care for them. Um, I also wanted to try out the linear top coat and the scattered top coat. So I grabbed those and did some quick swatches of those too. The only negative thing I have about the linear hollow, cause they are beautiful in person. It flares, it's gorgeous. The formula's thin. A lot of uh, toppers, the formula comes out kind of like a jelly texture and I hate it. It's so thick and just a pain in the rear to put on. These are fantastic as far as the formula goes. But the linear top coat, it changed my black to a gray, which I'm, I'm sure it has to do with the formula to make it look hollow. But I would love to really just have a true black hollow with no gray tone to it. Um, indigo away. This one had a very interesting formula. I started to go, it's kind of like a cream and a jelly, but that would be a Crelly. It kind of is. It's a weird texture, but the polish is beautiful. It's a cool toned purple with a hint of blue in it. Very nice. And now the flaky funness that um, you can take cat hair out of. 
<laughs> I might have gotten the names reversed on these first two. If I did, I'm very, very sorry. They're very similar in color in the bottle. Kind of hard to tell apart. But I am in love with these. The texture of the polish is fantastic. It goes on nice and smooth. Everything applied well. I put it on pretty thick. I don't think it needs to be quite that thick all the time, but it would be very easy to vary how you know thick or thin you put those flakies on there. I mean, they pop especially over the dark colors. I did film this over white as well. However, my camera was not having it. It was not showing the flakes. It was just bad. I had to delete all the footage. Um, they are quite pretty. They look like little speckled eggs um, on just a white polish too. But they definitely, like the star of the show, is over a dark color. And I wanted to show you the scattered one again too. I wanted to see it myself over purple and thought it was just gorgeous. That scattered hollow. Very, very pretty. So here they all are. Overall, hate the white. Throw it in the trash. The black is fine. If you're okay with that price point, go for it. The flakies are gorgeous. They're absolutely beautiful. They apply well. I have nothing bad to say about them. They are a little expensive at $13, but not bad overall. If these are in your budget, definitely check them out. And while you're checking stuff out, go ahead and click in the upper right hand corner and watch another video. Thanks for coming. Bye bye.